Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again guys and today we will learn how to set up and install Netgear Nighthawk AX8 Wi-Fi Mesh Extender model number AX6000 EAX80. So we can set it up via browser, via WPS and via Nighthawk app. So let's start with the browser setup first. So first and foremost, plug the extender in the same room as your Wi-Fi router. Although after setup, you can place the extender at your desired location. Now wait for the power LED to turn solid white. If the power LED does not let, then press the power on and off button on the extender. Now grab your Wi-Fi enabled phone or computer and go to Wi-Fi list. There you need to connect to netgear underscore ext. Now the netgear new extender setup window will pop up automatically. If it doesn't, then open a browser on the very same device and in the URL you need to type my Wi-Fi ext dot net or type www dot my Wi-Fi ext dot net into the address bar or URL of your browser. If that doesn't work, then try my Wi-Fi ext dot local or type one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two five zero into the URL to access the Netgear new extender setup page. Also, be very sure to type it only into the address bar because if by mistake you type it into the search bar of your browser, then you might land up on third party websites who will charge you hundreds of dollars for fake Netgear technical support. I have made a complete video about how to save yourself from this. Do watch it too, plus share it with your friends and family members. Anyways. On the Netgear EX80 setup page, it will ask you to create an account and then will ask you to choose the network name that you want to extend. So there you simply just need to select your router's Wi-Fi network among the list and then type its password for the confirmation. Also on the screen you will see option to enable or disable one Wi-Fi name feature for this extender. If you enable it then the Wi-Fi extender will use the same Wi-Fi name as your router. So after the setup is complete, you can place this extender halfway between your router and the location where you have a poor Wi-Fi connection. Now let's learn the second method of setting up AX8 EAX80 Nighthawk extender which is set up via Nighthawk app. So first you need to download and install the Netgear Nighthawk app and then open it. If your router model is not the latest and is not supported by this app, then click on try a new system setup. On the next window, select range extender as your product among the list of devices shown. Now just in case the router is supported by the app, then you need to open the app and click on the home icon on the top left hand corner. Then click on new setup option. Next, select range extender as your product among the list of devices. Next, it will ask you to position your extender and to plug it in into a wall outlet. If not already done, you will need to select the next option once you see the power LED on the extender. In the next window, you will need to select join netgear underscore ext option. Just in case your Nighthawk app is not able to connect to netgear underscore ext even after 2 minutes, then you will need to manually go to Wi-Fi settings on your mobile phone and tap on netgear underscore ext network name in your Wi-Fi list to connect to it. Once the extender is found, it will show you on the app. Click next. Now select the network name that you want to extend, which means your router's network name or SSID. Also if your router showcase 5 GHz network too, then select it too or select skip. You will need to type your router's Wi-Fi password for confirmation and just save the settings. So this is how you can set up Nighthawk EAX80 Mesh Extender via its Nighthawk app. The last method to set up the AX6000 Nighthawk Extender 
is via WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup. So before starting this WPS setup, I would like to inform you that WPS is not supported in WEP network security or a hidden SSID network. Also, if the WPS is disabled on the router, then this setup won't work. So first, enable the WPS on the router. We have made a dedicated video about how to enable WPS on the router. The link is in the description. So for this setup, you need to press the WPS button on the extender and within 2 minutes, press the WPS button on the router too. Once the WPS LED is lit on the extender, then you will see the extender's Wi-Fi network name showing up in the Wi-Fi list, which confirms a successful WPS setup. So just in case your device is not setting up, then first reset the extender and then try the setup again. We have made a video about how to reset any Wi-Fi extender. The link is in the description. I really hope this video was useful for you all. I have done a lot of research and hard work on bringing you all with this legit information. I would love to request you all to please don't forget to like and subscribe to appreciate my efforts. Thanks in advance. Also, I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.